funny thing about your senses you got your touch taste smell hear and feel the thing about them five senses once they're done they can never be undone not from mind mind always stores what senses present that's what's so offensive to these ball earthers they've grown up in a total belief of living on a spinning ball and so when they first hear the first sense here you never forget that you heard that the earth was flat and that you possibly something might not be right and then you remember that when you were flying as a kid that the horizon line was flat out there and we're way up in the sky and why isn't it down there if we live on a spinning ball oh that's because the teacher told us different see gravity allows them people to stand upside down in Australia and we, we were young and impressionable so we bought it but we remember our senses they never forget and mind, mind really doesn't forget it gets old and it gets decrepit but at any point anything that senses has presented to mind is stored in mind whether conscious can bring recall to mind or not is another story but so yeah once once you see something you can never unsee it once you hear something you can never unhear it so if you like me I can't keep my mouth shut about flat earth it doesn't matter where I go or what I do anytime I present myself in a public fashion there's gonna be at least 10 to 15 people who are gonna hear the word flat earth and lots of quick evidences from 70% water water lays flat to the solar system and how Venus and Mercury are within the Sun the daylight vision yet we see them in our nighttime spectrum and that the earth is rotating on its axis it 1,024 miles an hour over 1,500 feet per second faster than most every handgun shoots its projectile you know and, and this stuff just all comes up and one, once you start flowing into it more and more of the knowledge that you've gained through your research and data gathering and information gathering and the few experiments it, it, it's all stored up here and when you start going into it Especially when you're under pressure and there's quite a few people around listening to you, you can really uh, talk quite clear and loud and decisive. I have a hard time on YouTube. I, I've been trying to get my wife once in a while to just, because on YouTube I know I'm recording, but when I'm not recording, I, I just get really relaxed and I just start presenting facts like dynamite. And it, it astounds a lot of people. I've had people just t literally have their jaw drop, uh, their eyes get great big, and they just be shaking their dumbfounded and look at me, or you know, depending on what I'm telling them, they're just they're just in awe that I could say something that was so against what they had been taught that no one should ever even question what the interpreters of nature have presented as fact. I call NASA and all science are interpreters of nature. And I don't need an interpreter of nature to explain to me nature. It's like you people trying to 
believe in the King James Bible been interpreted by man for how many different interpretations no the great creator of this universe and my reality is right here and right here and I can access him anytime I want and you all can do the same thing you just have to work on that being good it's all about being good but uh yeah folks this YouTube see it's a big joke in itself because not everybody is presented this video here that I'm recording not everybody is it's only the select people who either know me or by chance come directly to my video and the thumbs up and the thumbs down and the views, they're all hogwash too. You don't know. I get comments. My comment section is ridiculous. I, I would I would answer every comment righteously. I really, I, and I do as soon as I get them and I'm not too busy, which I'm normally not too busy unless I'm at work. I respond to my comments as soon as they come in to show you that I am a real person, you know. I, I mean, it's obvious. I've been on this format here since uh, I can't remember when four years probably three or four years five years and I have not stammered one bit I have stood rigid on my cause my cause is to get each and every one of you to be your own leader that's the only way this we're gonna ever work this out I mean it's obvious that the government isn't working for us they're just extorting us and uh, feeding off our energy people it's ridiculous that I go to work every day and I build the wind farms I build the solar farms I build the coal fire plants I build the nuclear fire plants I build the petroleum plants I build the factories that build the cars I you know and the first where I'm going at with this electricity and the petroleum every civilian in this country should have access to free electricity to their home and free fuel at any fuel station out there them are creature comforts that the organized skill and labor has created for the civilian and it ain't asking too much and it ain't too hard to give free energy to the people that built it and free fuel to the people that built it we're not making money off it folks it's the corporations who are making money off it and then is what they're doing is with our tax dollars we're building it with our labor we're building it and then they're turning around and selling us our own energy back to us that we already built and created for us and they're selling it back to us what the fuck's the matter with you people you just willfully pay your tribute taxes to them like it's nobody's business like you don't even care you're, you're giving them over 70 percent of your energy people just think of all the things you'd be able to do with that 70 percent of energy that you willfully tribute to the government to suit their agenda It's unreal and I don't understand why there aren't more people standing up or should I say sitting down making videos and uh, opting out of the income tax lie we don't owe this government tribute for anything this government doesn't do shit for us people if you call extortion and murder and rape these pedophile politicians they just every one of you on this format and everybody out there for that matter outside of this format knows what these politicians do and what they are capable of doing and here we'll get into the Bible a little bit on Ephesians 6 5 where it tells you to obey your earthly masters as you would obey God now you've got God in the Bible 
telling you to obey your earthly masters as you would obey God when this God already knows the minds of man to be that of mercenary, murder, rapists, pillagers, killers, just vile and corrupt, power hungry. And you really think that this loving God that you follow and worship would really tell you to follow the realms of a mortal man? You better rethink this over, people. There's only a great creator of this universe, this flat realm that we're on. You only have to look around. You let the authors of nature, the sun and the moon and the stars, they're the authors. They show us every night and every day their cycle. Telling us that we cycle too. Like I tell you all, we're not a system. And that's what's wrong with society today. We've all been systemized from the political system to the religious system to the indoctrination system or the public education system, whatever you want to call it. it, it it's just ridiculous. It's system after system after system. We've been systemized. And it's time to break the lies of systemization. We, it, to the, at this point in time, people, if every working class civilian in the United States of America give up their entire year's wage for the national deficit, that this government has created for us, it wouldn't pay the interest payment. And y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. How much longer can it go on? The flat earth is coming wider and wider known. Although I've been talking about the flat earth everywhere I go, I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I, I've been doing the flat earth mouth in public. I don't record it all the time. I've just barely started doing it, and I'm not so good at doing the recording thing. But uh, I've been talking to people about the flat earth for three years, probably. Two and a half, three years, just publicly trying to express, because I want everybody out of this bubble earth. And find reality for themselves so I don't have to live inside of the city forced to be here, forced to pay tribute for my mortal existence to the government. And that's why I'm so outspoken against the spinning ball lie that's got everybody trapped inside of this prison. But uh, that's why I'm here where I'm at today. And that's why I talk in public. I don't talk, I mean, I presented on YouTube to folks. Yes, I do. It's obvious. But only the people they want to see this are seeing this. Out there in, in the real realm, out there in the real realm, they can't stop me from running this. They can't stop me on YouTube either if you know me. And if you uh, tell people to go to these smaller sites and whatnot and uh, so that's where we're at at this point in time, you know. I don't know if what I, anything I said made any sense, but I'm getting about tired of talking to this thing, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing me for one evening. It's already been going on to 14 minutes, so. Yeah, just this out there is going to spread the word. Oh, yeah, what I was saying is every time, people, we better really be watching what's going on in the political scene anyway because every time the flat earth, it, it, this has come up in the past several times to where more and more people are becoming aware of the flat earth reality and as more people progress in their knowledge and understanding of the flat earth they start creating events that break the solidifying of the information because see when you start learning the earth flat you start talking to other people and more people and, and more information gets shared and, and it grows and it grows and it becomes more apparent and more apparent and they can't have that because if we understand that the earth is flat and there's other re uh, reserves out there 
be it oil or what it, coal or whatever, them resources out there, uh, the land, that's what we all fight for. Everyone fights for land. Just think if there was enough land that it, nobody even had to worry about. Actually, there is, in fact, but the governments all lay claim to it. You can't just go and homestead anywhere. You get run off. You get killed. If they'll, they'll end you if you try to. You'll either conform to what they allow or you, you'll die. I mean, you can't just go and start building a place somewhere and you say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my family now, you motherfuckers. I'm sick of society and I'm going to take my family. I got five kids and they got five wives. And they, they got each one of their five kids and five wives have three and two and three rugrats running around. We're going to go out here and we're going to just build us a, an establishment, a compound out here and be it our, our abode and protection and our livelihood. We're going to farm our own food. We're going to harvest our own electricity and we're become self-dependent, self-sufficient. You could not do that. The government will come right in and shut you down. Guaranteed. And that's why government doesn't work. It, 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 it can't work, folks. It's, it's been going on for too long and Many of us are already awake, and at the same time, we're waking more people up more and more, and they can't have it. So, anyway, I'd be looking for, in the near future, some kind of uh, big event in the political scene to try to sway the minds from the flat earth reality. They have to keep us in a ball regardless. It's, they, they really can't let us out on the loose. Anyway, that, that's my thought on it, and uh, that's my Wednesday evening with the Dow. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and thanks for stopping in. Peace out, folks. Enjoy your flat earth, and spread the word in public everywhere you go. It ain't going anywhere here. It's obvious. You're the only one watching my videos. The few that I get, what, 25 views? 50 views I don't know couldn't tell you maybe I got a million views couldn't tell you it's YouTube's world here it ain't the re it ain't the real world out there I know I have at least 500 views a day because I work on a big construction site too and I talk about the flatters all day out there there ain't nobody that gets around me that don't hear about the flat earth it don't matter and I talk just like I am right here about the free energy should be to every civilian. We know the politicians are all fucks, and yet we allow it to go on. We know we send bombs and kill innocent men, women, and children, and we are all complicit. I tell the people just like that. And every one of you are the same way. I talk that way to you guys too, and now I'm getting comfortable, but I've been here too long. And so I'm just going to say goodnight, and you guys all have a wonderful evening. Peace out, folks. Thanks for stopping by.